So I uh, got a short video for you today. We're not going to go over individual stocks. Um, I just want to walk through a little bit of what I noticed today. So the big thing today, the thing that's weighing on the market, not weighing, but things that are out there. Um, I mean, you have a ton of good news. The coronavirus like numbers are really low. Nobody's really worried about it. Everybody's playing football again. Uh, schools are reopening, all this stuff. And yet the last couple of days we've just seen you know, things where it goes down and it wants to go up and it went down again. And I was looking at today and I was trying to make heads or tails of it. And it looks like there's a little bit of a sense that people are starting to wake up, that all the things they're worrying about and fearful about are not going to happen. Um, in fact, I saw this this quote from Tom Petty, uh, the musician the other day, and he always says, he goes, I always worry about th the things I always worry about never happen. And so you saw the market start down a little bit, down a little bit, went up a little bit, down a little bit, and then you just saw it take off. But I was trying to figure out, like, okay, was there anything that really caused that to happen? And there wasn't anything big in the news. I mean, there's still an election in, you know, five or six weeks or whatever it is. And um, anyway, but you just start to see people realizing that, you know what, this is either a really good time to buy or they were really just, um, there's a lot of just fears as opposed to fundamental things driving the market. I mean, it's one thing if like, if you have all these states instituting new shutdowns and it's like, okay, that's a fundamental that you want to pay attention to. Um, or a vaccine is approved today and that's a fundamental. Uh, it could be any number of things, but there wasn't anything out there. But you just saw it basically jump up and then always at the end of the day, it always levels off. I don't know why it does that. But um, anyway, if we look at the market today, um, the market as a whole as the Dow basically did the same thing. It did two, it did, it kind of, you know, if this is the market, it kind of dr drove down, kind of went up a little bit, drove down and recovered. But the stocks that we have don't follow the Dow. Um, and so I was looking at different stocks that I own and a lot of the stocks that have been dormant, BHR, IVR had done really well today. Um, the ones that are down, ABCT, I mean, they're just, they're bipolar. Um, but for the most part, everything was pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Vine, which is Menlo Therapeutics, they're, you know, they had a really good day today, but it's a biotech company. You can't really uh, look at anything. And then DraftKings, I mean, they're just going to go up as the football season and baseball season and basketball, baseball playoffs and basketball playoffs and um, everything gets into high gear. So the, the good rule of thumb is if you, if, if you bought, you got a good, you got a good cost basis, be patient only make a move when you need to. Um, I only look at things after hours so I can be patient. I don't have to worry if something's going up or down. I don't have a timer clock that I have to worry about adhering to. Um, but the big, big thing that you're doing right now is you're setting yourself up for, what is it, November 4th, which is the day after the election. I think November's the third of the election, but you wanna get your stuff set up because once people don't really have that shiny object to fear, um, you're going to see things getting better. The one thing that will be a good variable that you want to pay attention to, though, is I was reading this, and there's a kind of an there's kind of a little bit of a groundswell. It's not the politicians that are saying it. It's not like Nancy Pelosi or or uh, Mitch McConnell are saying this. Although Mitch McConnell probably has said it, um, but it's not like there's this groundswell in Congress with the leadership to get a COVID um, relief bill out. They're just not doing it. I don't know why. But there's a groundswell of people, little by little, that are coming forward, basically saying, look, we need to get this done. And Mark Cuban definitely has a voice. He came out today and basically said, you know, we need to send out $1,000 every two weeks for people through the end of November. And it was like, it was weird because he said, like, it would be a use it or lose it thing, which I'm not really sure how you do that. You know, like if you put it in somebody's bank account, you can't monitor if they used it or not. I mean, it just goes into their balance. If you put on a debit card... Um, people are just going to go to the ATM and take it out and then you have cash, but you don't know if they're sticking that cash underneath, um, you know, storing the cash or spending the cash. You just don't know. But anyway, there's a groundswell of things and I have a good feeling it's going to happen. Um, we'll see what the market does. It's a little bit up for tomorrow, but it changes throughout the day. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow, but Fridays are kind of crazy, but don't worry about the, don't worry about the day. Try to find a good stock. Uh, if you're going to do a limit, if you're going to do a buy, do a limit buy because then you get to name your price. You just don't have to take the price that's there. Um, 
And if the price goes low enough, I mean, be picky on these stocks. Um, if you have a stock that's ten dollars, set it at nine or set it at nine twenty and make it come down. If it goes down to nine fifty and you don't buy it, so be it. Not a big deal. Um, but if it goes down to nine and you buy it at nine, then you got a, just a killer deal. And I've had that happen a couple times this week where I set the price and it barely nips the price and then it goes back down or you know returns to where it was before and I make out pretty well. But the, what you don't want to do is have a stock that's at $10 a share. You buy it at $9.90 and then it goes down to $9.50 and you're in the red. I mean, it's not the biggest deal if you do that, but be picky. So pick some stocks, drive your cost basis down, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. To get more information on the sales cheat code, go ahead and click on the subscribe button below. Also down below in the video description, you know, down there, there's a link that takes you to our website. It gives you additional content, some additional freebies that we have, and gives you information on some programs that we have that have been proven to help people, to make sales easy, so that you can make the kind of money you want, live the lifestyle that you've always wanted, and not have to struggle in the process. And what might be the coolest thing of all is you don't have to put much effort into it. It truly is a cheat code that most people don't know about. And it's a cheat code that can change your life today. So click on the link below and let me help you start to experience these results starting right now.